Today I'll be showing you how to keep your drop down button or your arrow over here always visible at all times. So over here I'm using data validation to select a supplier from one of these uh, rows over here and return the corresponding spend for the supplier in cell D2 over here. And as you know with data validation is that you have to click on a cell and then the arrow here will appear. So sometimes you don't really know where the drop down menu is. So it would be nice if we had an, uh, an arrow over here which we could click on and that button could actually um, expose us to the drop down list over here. So in order to do this, let me show you the step by step process. First, we're going to go into developer and insert and we're going to insert a combo box. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold alt and drag it across our cell where we want to put it and that's going to make sure it fits uh, nicely within the cell and this is going to be our drop down menu here so what I'll do is I will right click this and go into format control and from here in the input range I'm just going to select all my suppliers because these are going to be my list values and once I'm done that in the cell link area I have to link a specific cell and I'll show you what this does in just a moment. For now, I'm just going to link it to cell D6 or D7 and I'll press OK. So now all of my suppliers that were on this list are now linked over here as well. So let's go ahead and let's select uh, Smith & Sons. As you can see, it's number, number three on the list over here. So Smith & Sons and you can see number three comes up. So this cell D7 that we selected is simply returning the row number of the cell that we select over here. So in order to actually return the supplier name, what we're going to do is we're going to go into equals to index and the array is going to be right over here. Control shift down to select all of them. And the row number is going to be the one in cell D7. OK, close bracket and press enter. Now we get Smith and Sons farm. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this formula that we made, control C that and escape. And we're going to come back to our uh, table or our drop down menu that we made. And we're going to insert this formula into here and press enter. OK, now that we've done that, OK, what we're going to do is I'm going to press control X here. And I'm just going to move this control V, move it right over here. And I'll show you why in just a moment over here. But now essentially, I can go ahead and I can delete this that we made. And now we're ready to form the X lookup. So equals to X lookup, open bracket, lookup value, just go up and select the cell that you are looking up. Lookup array is going to be once again this. So just control shift and down, comma, the return array is going to be this. Okay close the bracket and press enter and as you can see we're getting the spend amount right over here we can convert it to accounting format and we can see that now we can select um, any supplier from this list so let me select one on top let's select uh, um, apex electronics and you can see apex electronics is 278,374 so as you can see we return that value right over here and we can click on this box which is always visible to take us to this list now what we can do is we want to keep this over here because this is actually linked to our form control so we can just go ahead and we can hide this okay and if I just go up to the formula that we pasted here it's crucial that we have this formula pasted here because if we don't let's remove this here let's press enter it gives us an error. Okay, so make sure that you have this formula pasted uh, the way I showed you and this should work for you as well. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.